Hi everyone, I'm Ziv. Welcome to another session of Parents Voice, a series of conversations about parenting in China. Today I'm here with Sarah Boyson, who came to China in 2011 with her husband and three children. If you like this content, please give this video the thumbs up. Leave me a comment with any questions you would like me to ask the next parents I talk to and consider following our channel so you don't miss any future video. Hey Sarah. Hi. Thanks for being here on Sunday. We're actually inside the garden where you live. Right. Right. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. All right, let's take a walk. Okay. So, um, you came to China in 2011 and you have three children. How old are they and how old were they then? Um, they are 16, 18 and 21 and when we arrived um, they were 7, 9, 11. 7, 9 and 11 right. arriving in China with three children yes. back in 2011. Right. Uh, how did you pick a school? How did you decide what you should do with their education? Um, when we got here we didn't know um, about that, that Chinese schools were an option. Okay. We only found that out later. Um, you were thinking only international schools? We were thinking only international schools. We, did, we thought that was our only option. They were already in school in the U.S.? Correct. You're from? Minnesota. Okay, right. U.S. Um, and we visited schools and frankly, there were only two we basically chose from because of we lived in Dongcheng here. Right, so you wanted something close Right, by. right. Um, and one was way too small. Our middle daughter would have been the only child in fourth grade. And so they would have moved her to third grade right. or moved her up to fifth grade and we just didn't want that. Right. Um, and so we ended up at QSI and we thought we'll stay for three years and if we, if the kids are getting a good education, we'll sign up Right. for more years and we've been here almost 10 now. So you plan to stay in China for three years back then, right. but you've been here right. now 10 yeah. years, right? Yep. Okay. Um, was it a good choice? I mean, not, not uh, specifically QSI, but like international school. Would you, would you have done something different? I think if our kids would have been, were younger when we moved here, we would have wanted at least a bilingual school or a foreign language school so that they would learn Chinese right. fluently. Um, they just, we, they would have um, really missed out on the core subjects right. to go to school all in Chinese. And um, so they just were too them. old, yeah. Right. They were just too old to put them into a Chinese school. Right. But um, now in hindsight, like I said, we stayed three years because the kids were getting a good education. We were happy here. And now um, all of my children are conversational in Mandarin. Oh, they are? Yes. Okay. Um, my daughters now go to college in the U.S. and have both used it a little bit um, with, friends? with people they've met. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, they got uh, conversational in Chinese just by mm. studying Chinese in international schools? <clears throat> Correct. Yep. They get an hour of Chinese class five days a week. Okay. And, and you needed to give them any uh, extra tutoring or anything like that? No. No. None. They're good students, I guess. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. What uh, other things, other, other than education, what other things um, are challenges when you are a foreign parent in China? Mm. Um, it all, I, th I think it all depends on the, a lot on the children. Um, one of our children had a very hard time adjusting when we came here. Um, and the other thing that's very difficult about being an expat is the other expats here, are, it, the population's transient. Mm -hmm. And we've said goodbye to a lot of really good friends. And that- Back home? Been, uh, no, leaving. Ah, you mean- Expats that have, have left China. It's a common have left issue Dongguan. Here, right. Yeah, and it, it, it's hard to, it's hard on the kids. Of course it's hard on us, but we're adults. We can deal with I mean, that. Kids saying goodbye to their friends, right. going back to their right. country. Yeah. Yeah. So that's challenging. Um, so that's that's been one challenge. Um, of course, they miss family. They miss things that are going on in the U.S. Um, but as far as parenting goes, parenting is the same whether we are here or in the U.S. Okay. Um, 
You say that... Uh, theoretically. <laughs> theoretically, I get it, right. You say that uh, uh, one child had a bit of an issue adjusting. Mm -hmm. uh, can you elaborate? Um, she just, she didn't like Chinese food. She didn't want to learn Chinese language. It was hard. If I'm guessing right, it's your oldest? No. No? No. Okay. It's my middle daughter. Okay, okay. Um, but this then became, it eventually became her home. Right. We, um, she grew, matured, and she also is the one that had the most problems going back. Okay. Because right. she was used to living in Asia. Right. And she didn't know how to, she said, I don't know how to relate to American girls, American people. I don't know how to be an American. Did but she, she, did she expect that? Or she, she even had the notion that it's going to be like that? Or it just suddenly happened? Or did you feel like, oh, this could happen? Um, no, I guess I was surprised a little bit. Okay. Um, where, where did she go in the U.S.? She's in Detroit at Detroit. an art school in Detroit. Okay. Um, but is now doing really well. In fact, I just recently found bubble tea, so she's pretty happy about that. And oh. <laughs> typed a little um, caption in, in Mandarin in her... Uh, Instagram Does about her bubble tea. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. She, uh, the foreigner grew up in China going back home and looking for bubble tea around there. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> there are things they miss. Yeah, well, this mean. became home to them because they lived here. She lived here exactly. She came here at nine and left at 18. Right. So nine years. Half right. of her life was here. She has, does she have Chinese friends? Um, I believe she just met one Chinese friend and just discovered the international community there. She, it's been different this year because of COVID. Right. Um, a lot of the events and organizations right. have kind of been so you've been away shut down for a long time because of COVID. Huh. Eighteen months. I haven't. Oh my been home. God! Eighteen months for a mom that yeah. is hard. You do a lot of witches, I guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, in what way do you think your kids are different now than those of your friends who stayed in Minnesota mm. all their life? Well, they have had some amazing travel experiences. I mean, they've seen things that most American kids see in a textbook, the Great Wall and the Terracotta Warriors, things like that. Right. So they've had cool experiences well that way, yes. Um, they also... I mean, they've gone to school with such a diverse population of kids, Italians and Koreans and Chinese and uh, Taiwanese and Hong Kongese and right. just, I mean, you name it, right. Israeli. Right, right. So it opened their mind? Right. And exactly. uh, you think, uh, um, so what, what are the pros and cons, you think? I mean, maybe con is that they don't feel, how about the theory that uh, I have or I read somewhere that these kids will never really feel at home anywhere. I mean. This is their home, you said. Yeah. But even this is not exactly their home. Right. Do they have a home? <laughs> it's home because their family's here. But um, I believe they feel at home in the U.S. now. I mean, like I said, it took a while. My daughter adjusted. Um, my older daughter now has been there three years, and she's adjusted. She's that's home to them. This is home because her their parents are here. Right. But that is home to them. Um, Right. Okay. Because it's a culture they're right. now well familiar with. The other know. two kids, do you think they'll go to college, university in the U.S.? I mean, you have actually two in the U.S. Two in already. the U.S. and university. And then your son is he's talking about college. He's in the talking US about as well. the U.S. Mm -hmm. They have not considered going in China. You know, my eldest daughter um, specifically said, "I want to be near our extended family." Right. She said, "I've missed out on all the holidays, and I want to be there for that." Right. And she is. So she is. She's so, around there. Right. Yeah. Okay. How long do you think you will stay here? Um, indefinitely. indefinitely. I, <laughs> I don't know. You enjoy um, it? I do. We love it here. So, we love it. So you're here for a while and your kids may be back home. It's kind of like... Yeah. Uh, once travel opens up, that changes everything. Right now I feel stuck. All right. Well, I hope that you see your daughter soon. Your yes. daughters. Yes. Thank soon. you. It's yeah. been a while. Thank you for talking. Yep. And this was Parents' Voice.